That's right. What's up, guys? Polu here, checking in for MTV based music. It's now let's talk first of all about sports because Cristiano Ronaldo is winning big this year. Now, you know, he's been with Nike since 2003. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. Well, apparently, this year he just signed a lifetime deal with the sports giant. It's crazy. He's one of only three athletes to ever do this. I'm talking LeBron James, uh, I'm talking uh, Michael Jordan, and he is the third. Hello! Now, moving away from sports and news, let's talk a little bit about America because you know this Trump thing has to enter somehow, but it's entering by the way of celebrities because celebrities a number of them have said they're going to leave the country if Trump wins. Number one on the list, Snoop Dogg, who has actually said that the 9th of November is officially the second worst day in America ever, following September 11 uh, all the way back, uh, because he's saying that Trump is there. In fact, he even tweeted at Drake, at Champagne Papi, my new home, I'm going to need help with some property. I'm moving to the 6th. Yeah, boy. Hey, this Trump Wahala is real. Now, speaking of real Trump Wahala, it's not just Snoop Dogg that we're talking about in relation to Donald Trump. Let's talk also about Lady Gaga, who in fact on election night was fully with Hillary, went outside of Trump Towers and protesting, had a sign off saying love Trump hate. See what she did there. Um, okay, so we're going to move a little bit away from that and talk, go back to talking about money and somebody who owes the IRS. We're talking about the revenue service in America. A lot of money, Rick Ross, because he did not pay the cost to be the boss. Yep, it turns out that they did a three-year audit on this guy. And between 2012 and 2014, my guy owes the U.S. government like 5.7 million U.S. dollars. Like, bruv, what are you thinking? Um, but they're moving away from people who are owing money to people who got it in excess, chilling in the bank. We're talking about Britain's list of rich richest celebrities under 30. Adele is now at the number one spot. She actually took over from One Direction who held that space for about three uh, three years straight actually but you know that combined number now she's only one person. She got about 92 million pounds apparently chilling in the bank and she's just 28 years old. Dance off. She's doing all right. Ladies and afternoon stars who are rounding up our story with we're talking about Katarina or Senzi. I'm sure I destroyed her name, but be cool. I'm not from that place. Anyway, she just gave birth to a beautiful baby girl and she tweeted about it and said, I am with her. And her name is Pamela McKella. Absolutely gorgeous. She gave birth right after voting. So her baby actually has an I voted sticker on her. Aww. But who did you vote for? Because Trump is so president. Anyways, I said it, President elect, but I'm done. Guys, I am fully stormed. Having a blast, as always, right here on MTV Base. So you better keep a and don't touch the dial and I'll be back another time. That's right.